Hi everyone, it's Coach Rob here and it's time for the game recap of the, the game that was played on Saturday, January 14th, um, 2023. Um, the reason why I say was is because it's actually Sunday morning that, that I'm doing the um, the recap. It's about 11.20 a.m. because I uploaded videos already of the um, of the player introductions and the ceremonial face-off because it was Lunar New Year. And I also uploaded a video of the... Um, of the ceremony they had for Lunar New Year. And every fan that came, well not every fan, the first thousand fans that came in received a red envelope. And in mine was 10% uh, uh, off of the concession stand. One of my friends had 10% off at the team store and my friend Shannon actually got um, a free popcorn of the deal. And the grand prize was, not sure who won it, but it was um, uh, uh, use of the skybox for one night, so it, it, it was a great it, it was a great game. We had a pretty good attendance um, last night at the game. Just looking it up here. Uh, sorry, I should be more prepared for these videos, but but that's okay. This uh, it's all in good fun. The attendance was four thousand three hundred and seventy one. So that's roughly the same as yesterday. And we had uh, referees and linesmen. Yes, that was Cole Cook um, um, there uh, doing the lining with Ryan Sirk. And Kyle Skazowski was referee too. And Matthew Hickox was a great hockey name, was the referee one. And he did a great job last night. There was quite a bit of fighting. So without further ado, as you probably know, it was a 6-3 final for the Victoria Royals, and that brings us within one point of the final playoff berth, chasing the Kelowna Rockets, so you can get in the playoffs and you never know what can happen. Remember back in the NHL in 2011, the LA Kings knocked off the Vancouver Canucks in the first round, and Vancouver was the best team in the NHL that year. They won the President's Trophy. LA had a win on the final night of the regular season to get in, and they ended up winning the cup, right? So here we go. Actually, the first goal of the game was scored by Max Graham. He wears number seven, of course, for the Kelowna Rockets. That was at 10-20 of the first period, right? And, um, yeah, so it was one nothing <clears throat> midway through the first. But at 15-56, Victoria player number 11, Matthew Hudson, scored, um, assisted by Austin Zemlick and Jake Poole. So they got us tied up. But it stayed that way until just into 36 seconds, 32 seconds of the second period, when number 17 of the Royals, Robin Pazowski, scored his first of the season, assisted by Reggie Newman and Justin Kipley. That was at 32 seconds. Then at 8:55 of the second, it was Riley Gallen scoring for Victoria, and everybody know he wears number 28, right? And that was assisted by number nine, Tanner Scott. Um, then Alex Edwards from Grand Forks, BC, got his third goal of the season. He he had help from Matthew Hudson and Jake Poole with that beautiful pass. A lot of people were talking about that great pass. Um, and that was at 13.20 the second. Then um, about a few minutes after that, uh, on the power play, um, number 24, J Dylan Whiteman of the Kelowna Rockets scored. And he had help from uh, number 22 and number... 19, Adam Kidd, spelled in this way, K-Y-D-D. -D. Um, and we all remember Trevor Kidd back in the in the, in the the 90s with the um, Calgary Flames. And he was, of course, Trevor Kidd, no relation, different spelling. But just, um, I, I don't know if people remember this, but he was the goaltender for Team Canada, the World Juniors that year. And the backup goaltender was Martin Brodeur. And, of course, Martin Brodeur was drafted much later in the draft, so you never know where the draft goes. Anyway, back to this game. Early in the third period, number nine, Tanner Scott scored his eighth of the season, assisted by Nate Mitski. That's the insurance goal that was at 128. Then another power play goal for the Kelowna Rockets happened at 718 of the third period. And that was Max Graham this time scoring. And he had help from Dylan Wigman and, and number six there. So yeah, then, but <clears throat> we're just, just over five minutes to go in the game, Matt Matt Hodson, Matthew Hodson, sorry, number eleven scored, and he had assist number twenty nine, Tegan Patton and Caleb Parker, um, at fourteen twenty three to third. So that was the final six three. 
there were so many penalties. Well, we're never, we never list the penalties anyway. Um, and of course, it was Braden Holt, the great Braden Holt was a net for, um, I almost said Team Canada. Well, we'd be Team Canada someday, I bet, for the Victoria Royals. And it was Yari Kikin, and he played the entire game for the Kelowna Rocks, and he had some great saves. And of course, that was in the um, in the Victoria Memorial Arena. And did we do the three stars yet? No, we didn't do the three stars yet, but we will. I'm trying to see if I can find the power plays here. Um, power plays. And next time I'll be more prepared. I should actually have notes when I do this, but it's all <clears throat> it's all for just good fun here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the power play Kelowna was three for eight, so all all their goals were scored on the power play, right? And Victoria was two for four on the power play, so they did good. Uh, saw on goal, shots on goal in the game. It was um, in the first period of a 16 to 15, 13 for Kelowna. Then it was nine apiece in the second period. Then in the um, third period, I didn't realize there was only five shots, five shots each. So the um, the total shots on goal were pretty close. It was 30 to 27 for your um, Kelowna Rockets in this case, right? And the three stars of the game were from the Kelowna Rockets, Max Graham, he was your third star. Uh, Robin was the second star for the Victoria Royals and tonight's game star. First star of the game was Matthew Hodson of the Victoria Royals. And of course he is from the great town of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, right? And he was drafted by the Victoria Royals in 2018 in, in the WHL entry draft in the third round number 52 overall. Right, so that's um, um, that's a pretty good um, it's a pretty high draft choice. He's pretty good, and um, yeah, so that's the um, destroying him. And and this year he has in this in this season he has he's played thirty eight games, he has eleven goals, ten assists, twenty one points. He's only a minus one, which is fantastic, in high scoring junior leagues. Twelve twenty minutes, three power play goals. He hasn't got a short handed goal, but he's had fifty four shots on goal. Some would argue at 55, but it's 54 actually. So his career totals are are are, are pretty good too. Um, which are 79 games um, played in the WHL, 14 goals, 13 assists, 27 points. He's got 22 penalty minutes overall. Right, so I guess that's a wrap for this game. We have the game notes here, and. Um, yeah, a couple Royals made their long-awaited home to Bruce on home ice last night. Victorious captain La Gannon LaRock finally got to see the Royals crowd this season, picking up an assist in his debut game of the year. The captain returned to play in Kelowna on January 3rd and played all three road games to start the 2023. Those were in, in um, over on the mainland. There's only one team on the um, Vancouver Island, and that, is, of course, is the is the Victoria Ross. Remember back in the 90s, we did have the great, the um, Nanaimo Islanders, or the great Pokey Reddick. He was a great goaltender in the NHL and he played that one season for them. So I guess that's all for now. The next, the next games will be Wednesday, January the 18th. They'll play in the Tri-City Americans. Then on next Friday, January 20th, they play in Portland. Then they're in Spokane on the 21st. Sunday the 22nd, they'll be in Kelowna, right? Then next um, time we see them in Victoria, we will have a recap for you. This is Coach Rob signing out for now, and you all have a great day, and please like and subscribe. Well, so January 14th, 2023. We've got 110 left, it's 6-3 for the Victoria Royals over the Kelowna Rockets so far. It is the Boxies' last minute play in the third period. Let's go, Ryan! Let's go, Ryan! Let's go, Ryan!
left now. Seconds left now. You hear the fans counter down. Next game. 